Today we are going to take up gaseous state. We will take properties of gases, gas laws, Boyle's law, Charles law, pressure temperature law, Avogadro's law, ideal gas equation, Van der Waal equation, its advantage and limitations. So first we are going to take up properties of gases. Gases do not have definite shape and volume. Second point, they can occupy whole space available to them. Gases have unlimited dispensability and large compressibility. That is, they can be easily compressed. Gases have very low densities because of negligible intermolecular forces of attraction. Gases exert pressure on the walls of the container in which they are kept with perfectly elastic collision. Elastic collision means that there is no net loss of energy, rather there is transfer of energy. Next point is they diffuse rapidly through each other to form homogeneous mixture against the electric, magnetic and gravitational field. Next we are taking gas laws. The certain laws which relate the behavior of gases for its four parameters, mass, pressure, volume, temperature are called gas laws. The first law we are going to take up is Boyle's law. It states that at constant temperature, the volume of fixed mass of a gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. Mathematically, P is inversely proportional to volume or pressure into volume is equal to constant or P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 is equal to P3 V3 and it can be P n V n. This formula we will be using for solving numericals based on Boyle's law. Now we are taking the graphical representation. The first graph we are plotting between pressure and volume and from this graph it is quite clear as the pressure decreases, volume increases. That is, pressure and volume are inversely proportional. Second graph we are plotting between pressure versus 1 over volume and we get a straight line. It shows that the pressure is directly proportional to 1 over V. We can also say that volume is directly proportional to 1 over P. Third graph we are plotting between log P and log V. So the curve which we have shown in the first graph changes to a straight line because variation in log P and log V are very small. The fourth graph we are plotting between pressure versus PV and we find PV remains constant as pressure varies. All these four graphs are called isotherm because these graphs are plotted at constant temperature. Next we are taking Charles law. This law states that at a constant pressure the volume of fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Be careful it is absolute temperature and not temperature in centigrade. What is absolute temperature? Temperature in centigrade plus 273.15 will give you temperature in Kelvin. Mathematically, V is directly proportional to T, capital T is absolute temperature at constant pressure. V is volume of the gas, T is absolute temperature, so V will be equal to constant into T or V over T is constant. Hence, if the volume of the gas of mass, given mass is V1 at temperature T1 and it changes to volume V2 at temperature T2, pressure remaining constant, then the formula becomes V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2 which is equal to constant or log V minus log T is equal to constant. For each degree change of temperature, rise or fall, the volume of sample of gas changes by the fraction of 1 over 273.15 of its volume at 0 degree centigrade. Vt is equal to V0 into 273.15 plus T degree centigrade divided by 273.15. This equation is called Charles K. Lussac's equation. Vt is volume of gas at temperature T degree centigrade. V0 is volume of gas at 0 degree centigrade temperature. T is temperature in degree centigrade. Now we are taking graphical representation for Charles law. 
first graph we are plotting between volume and temperature at constant pressure and volume and absolute temperature are directly proportional so we get a straight line as shown in the graph these graphs are being plotted at constant pressure second graph we are plotting between volume and 1 over t and volume and 1 over t means that they are inversely proportional so the shape of graph has been shown in the diagram log v versus log t are also directly proportional and that is why we are getting a straight line and fourth graph we are plotting between t and v over t so v over t remains constant as t varies all these graphs are called isobars because we are plotting this graph at constant pressure so when we plot the graphs at constant pressure we call them isobar and if we plot the graphs at constant temperature we call them isotherms next we are taking gay lussac's law or amonton's law it states that at a constant volume the pressure of given mass of the gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature mathematically p is directly proportional to absolute temperature at constant volume where p is pressure of the gas t is absolute temperature p is equal to kt or p over t is equal to constant which can be equal to k hence if pressure of the gas is p1 at temperature t1 changes to pressure p2 at temperature t2 volume remaining constant then the formula will be p1 over t1 is equal to p2 over t2 is equal to constant we can also write log p minus log t is equal to constant or pt is equal to p0 into 1 plus t over 273 plus 15 pt is pressure of gas at t degree centigrade p0 is pressure of gas at 0 degree centigrade t is temperature in centigrade let's take up graphical representation pressure is directly proportional to temperature we get a straight line and these graphs are being plotted at constant volume now when we plot the graph between p and 1 over t they are inversely proportional log p versus log t are directly proportional we get the straight line and if we plot the graph between t versus p over t so p over t value remains constant as the temperature varies since all these graphs are being plotted at constant volume so these graphs are known as isocore isocore means same volume or constant volume